Judges attending the 19th Judges Colloquium Conference in Mombasa today got shocked after Mombasa residents staged a demonstration at the White Sands Hotel accusing them of protecting drug lords in the town. However, as our reporter Grace Courier now tells us, in response, Chief Justice David Maraga admitted that indeed there was a possibility of the residents' claims being true, but he expressed disappointment that no evidence had been tabled before them yet. All they wanted was justice. Most of them parents who claim their children have sank deep into drug abuse. And they had their fingers pointed at the judiciary, precisely its head, David Maraga, claiming he had failed to act against the judges suspected to be corrupt and protecting the drug lords in Mombasa City. The demonstrators were, however, quickly dispersed by police from Bamburi Police Station, which is just a stone throw distance from the hotel, just minutes before the Chief Justice stepped out to address them. The judiciary is, uh, is, 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 is waits for those cases to be brought, evidence to be presented. And uh, the, the, the allegation, if I got it well, is that uh, the judiciary is uh, covering those or is well. I, I don't deny that. There could be some people who are involved, the judiciary, who are involved in that, just like are the, 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 the police who are involved. Accompanied by the top cream of judiciary, among them DCJ Philomena Mwilu, the CJ asked detectives involved in investigations of drug barons to bring him evidence against the judges. The issue of, 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 of corruption in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the judiciary, that is not something uh, I have ever denied. I have said there is corruption. Corruption is everywhere. It is not in the judiciary alone. It is everywhere. The demos comes just a few weeks after the sentencing of drug lord Bakhtash Akasha to 25 years in prison by a New York court. Grace Kuria KTN News. The Council of Governors has said it shall go to court seeking to overturn orders that barred Governor Ferdinand Waititu from accessing office until a 588 million shillings graft case against him is heard and determined. The governors have also faulted Kiambu County Deputy Governor James Nyoro for what they say is usurping the powers of a duly elected governor. COG says Nyoro has been planning to sack and transfer county staff without consulting the governor, Waititu. You can see what is happening in Kiampu. Now, the deputy governor pretends to have taken over and tries to want to sack others, try to transfer others. And the law, the county government's act is clear what a deputy governor can do and what he cannot do. You see, it's very clear. I cannot care. So in a way, if you keep off, you keep off the governor. You are saying that governor, uh, that county cannot transact any business. Because most of the business is transacted through the cabinet of the county. So imagine cabinet is not meeting because the deputy governor cannot chair the cabinet. And it is clear in law. And I think there was proper intention for ensuring that. Otherwise, you will have parallel cabinets in the county.